and said, By the power of Grayskull. Hello, this is just um, a quick video on uh, the new DLC um, that got released on Tuesday the 1st of December. It's the Battle of Jakku, uh, which is from the new uh, Episode 7, which is coming out soon. Um, and basically, oh well sorry, this isn't the Battle of Jakku, this is just as like messing about with uh, Luke Skywalker. But basically, yeah, the Battle of Jakku came out today. Um, I pre-ordered the game so I got it a week early um, like the DLC becomes available a week early early access to anybody who pre-ordered it so it's out for the rest of the public on the 8th um, so I like it how because um, I, I rarely pre-order games it's only games that I'm really looking forward to that I tend to pre-order um, and like Star Wars obviously I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I wanted to pre-order it, um, but all the DA DLC is free um, anyway, so I like how DICE have announced that and said that all the DLC is going to be free from now on and the, the shit loads of DLC they'll be bringing out, and I think especially once the new movie comes out, um, there's going to be a lot of extra maps a lot of extra maybe heroes you might even get uh, john boyega and uh, daisy ridley or whatever her name is you might even get the two new characters um or chewy you know what i mean you could see chewy coming in that'll be amazing but this is the battle of jakku um <clears throat> so if you look at the landscape i mean look at that massive star destroyer that's crashed this is a battle from the new movie this planet is from the new movie this actual all the debris and all the all the shit that's happened like if you look in the sand you can see like 8080s that have been blown up like that's the carcass of one where that bloke's standing the one i'm shooting like that's the carcass of a um, 8080 so it's obviously a massive battle that happens in the new movie and to bring down star destroyers and the at ats bring them down also it's i mean it's obviously a huge battle but this is great i mean look at the sand i mean the, i think um what's that uh planet called solace no it's not solace it's the other one uh tatooine i think is uh like a desert planet where the sand people are on that um you know so we've seen sand before but still it's amazing it's a nice big open area um you've got Obviously, the, the aim of the game is just like it says at the top, you've got to control uh, the control points. There's only three, I think, or... Yeah, I think there's only three. And you've just got to keep them under... Co like, you've got to keep them under your control until the time runs out, basically. Oh, there's four, or maybe five. One, two... Yeah, the, two, the three arrows in the two circles, they're the different checkpoints. So there's two red ones, I think, that haven't been contested yet. Or the ones we've got to defend. I'm not really sure actually. Just looking at it I've never really thought about it till now. But you can see the big red circles on the screen. That's basically where you've got to go to. Um, you know so it's not exactly hard. It's basically just to capture another like capture the um, checkpoint kind of game. So you know but look at the landscape. It's all brand new. Everything's all brand new. Um, you can see a lot of detail in the spaceships. Especially when you get close. And also, it gives you an idea of what's going to be happening in the new movie, which is good. Um, but I just can't wait for the new film to come out. And also, I can't wait for any new DLC or any additional content that you might be getting because of the new movies. So it's one of those things where you're not going to know until it comes out. But um, it, it's just great to play. I mean, I've always been a massive Star Wars fan. Um, so getting to, a chance to play... a, a thing from the new movies is just like it's all good it's just bonus so um i mean i haven't i've been playing grand theft and uh i've got the new wrestling there so i've been playing them too mostly um and i haven't been playing star wars that much i think i was only up to level 18 here um i'm only up to level 24 or something i've been playing it tonight obviously with the dlc coming out but um i it's just it's one of those games where they can only make it better by adding more stuff 
Um, so I just hope that they do keep bringing out a lot of um, extra content um, to keep obviously the fans happy. But you know what they like, um, the course of the will. It's it's, but I mean like I was I've keep trying keeping track with and I watch other people's um, YouTube channels and like let them do all the all the research into reading the websites and everything and then I'll just like listen to what they've got to say and then I can put it into my video. Um, and the, apparently DICE, there's been a, a, one of the guys from EA has actually um, said, made an announcement, it was like a Q&A, and he made an announcement and said that um, Battlefront is, is just like this game, Battlefront is just one of many Battlefront titles that are going to be coming out. So they're going to be doing like the Battlefront franchise, but with lots of other titles all different types of uh, Star Wars, they said, all different types of games as well, so that probably means racing, you know, like the pod racing and stuff like that. Um, they already have the speeder bikes and stuff on here, um, X-Wings and that, so, you know, you could just make a racing game out of it. Um, uh, what else was there? Oh, like a fighting game, you know what I mean? And I hope to God... The bring out like a, a versus fighting game like Mortal Kombat like there was on the PlayStation 2 I think or it was a PlayStation 1 and it was um, the Battle of Sar Sarzu or something it was called it had like a, a proper fucking dodgy name but um, it was a basically like a Mortal Kombat kind of fighting game I remember you could be Chewie you could be uh, Solo, you could be Luke. Everybody was on there um, from four, five, and six. There was no new characters. But if they ever do bring out a new Battlefront game, you know it's only going to be uh, huge um, because I know that Rockstar and Take Two announced, wait, well, sort of, kind of announced that Red Dead Redemption Two is on the way. Um, so you know that's going to be another huge title. So they've got to make this. Uh, franchise last because the people from DICE actually said when they first got the license and uh, the license fuck's sake, when they first got the licensing the licensing uh, rights for Star Wars um, it's a 10 year deal so they've got years and years left with permission to use the Star Wars sound effects, the Star Wars likeness, you know they've got the Star Wars property, they made a 10 year contract, so they've still got about like 7 years left on that contract to churn out and take advantage of the Star Wars games because if you can piggyback on a massive franchise like Star Wars and you're putting your game out there and just you get to use the Star Wars rights in the Star Wars franchise, it's basically you just base it's free money basically. Any game that's tied in with Star Wars, you know, will make shitloads of money. Star Wars is that big of a franchise. But um, if you haven't pre ordered it, you just wait until uh, the 8th of December. But I'll give it 10 out of 10 for all the reasons that I've mentioned and for all the stuff that's possibly coming out. So if you like it, uh, go and download it now or wait until the 8th. So that's it. See you later.